are very good with lies, or like Amy is, oh. I'm not. Um, <laughs> we are uh, Mark and Amy from Employer Branding Australia, uh, but if you're here, you probably know that already. Um, Alex is also behind the camera. Give us a wave, Alex. Hi, Alex. That's Alex. He's, he's actually spewing because we're using smartphones for this rather than his fancy technology, so I uh, don't mm -hmm. know how that's going to go. Um, we've got uh, Emily and Carly and Chris, unfortunately, can't join us, but we're going to do all the work today. And... Um, it is our birthday today. It's our first year, as you'll see. Hooray! So we thought we'd. Um, Am I popping that? We thought we'd we'd make this a drunken, um, oh, a yeah. drunken live. So sorry if you don't have a glass in your hand. If you don't and you can get one, I would suggest you do. We are incredibly excited. Um, not just because it's our birthday. We've, we've had an incredible twelve months, but because we get to do today what we love the most, which is to tell people's stories. Um, we started this business, I started this business, and the team that has grown this business believes too. That was oh, nice. Thank you. Good sound. Um, we started it because we believe that when fantastic people truly connect with the employers that they choose to work for, amazing things happen. Can you do one for Alex as well? Of course. Thanks. Um, and, and, and our job, I suppose, what we get out of bed in the morning to do is to bring those stories to life. So um, that's exciting. So for our birthday, we decided to create a, a competition, a talent stories competition. So if you don't know what that is, basically we ask people to nominate an employee in their organization, maybe an absolute superstar, maybe just an unsung hero who just does it every day and really brings her or his all or their all. Um, and we wanted to find out why they were being nominated and then we were going to choose five winners. Um, Alex, okay. you've got a drink. Oh. That's Alex, everybody. Uh, it's quite, it's quite, woo, it's if, quite. If the camera starts um, getting a bit wobbly soon, you'll know absolutely. why. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, so, so we were going to pick five winners and what we're going to do, we're going to um, interview the employee, we're going to do a professional photo shoot, we're going to craft their story, and then we're going to bring it to life and, and share it across Australia and beyond. So, very exciting and all freebie. So, um, we have, uh, we, we, yeah, we said we'd pick five winners, didn't um, we? And there were so many great yeah. ones. Reading through them, it's, it's, it was too hard to choose which, one, which ones to actually make five. Oh, yeah. So, um, old Mark over here has made an executive decision. I decided we're not busy enough, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought we would double our workload and we, we just couldn't pick five, so we've chosen ten. We're going to have ten winners today um, from the um, overall wider competition, but then we also we got some great nominations from our uh, clients and we wanted to create a separate category for them. It's a VIP category, if you like, for our clients, so we've got ten winners in the main competition plus six client winners as well, that's 16 names to get through and yep. stories to get through. So we might smash through these. I hope we get everything right. I'm sorry if we mispronounce your name. Please don't slay And us. if you're watching and uh, you notice that somebody has just been announced or you work with them or that's where you work from, tag them, let them know mm. because it's really exciting and um, yeah, it's really nice to, to be able to sh share the love a little bit. Good job, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So we're going to announce the winners in no particular order. So there's no big suspense. Every single one is a legend. So, Seriously, cheers. Cheers. Happy cheers birthday, to Employer EBA. Branding Australia. Okay, number one, congratulations to Katie Marlowe of Winston Group. Um, we loved Winston Group's nomination, which was led by Nadia Golenkova. Um, Katie is Learning and Development Officer at Winston Group, and you know Nadia talked about her as being the very best example of a superb and quiet achiever. Um, here are a few things Nadia said. Katie is humble, amazingly helpful, and over her 12 years with Winston Group has become one of the most integral, values-driven collaborators in our business. One of the things we loved as well about Nadia's nomination of Katie is she actually went and asked other colleagues um, to share their stories about her. A previous manager said it wasn't possible to overstate how much Katie helped their department and that she had implemented a streamlined and smooth process that set the foundations for how they operate today. There were so many other staff members who put their hand up um, from the time she, she, they told stories about when she brought an emergency picnic to enjoy whilst on the road visiting clients in Melbourne, to the effort she made in, in creating helpful resources for her colleagues. We are really excited to interview you, Katie, and to get, you, get to know you better and uh, to share your story with Australia. Our next winner is Catherine Lamb of Australian CEO Challenge. Thank you, Jack, for nominating Catherine who left her role as police prof prosecutor to become partnerships manager at Australian CEO Challenge. The organisation does incredibly important work to help employers embrace and address the challenge of domestic violence and Catherine plays a key role. Jack said Catherine is an incredible human 
who is passionate about making a difference. Her role focuses on partnerships between a government or corporate business with a frontline domestic and family violence service. In just six months, Catherine and her team have connected an outstanding 18 partnerships with Australian organisations. Jack said she'd heard many stories of how these partnerships are positively impacting vulnerable families. When reflecting on Catherine, Jack said that the re relationship between the employer and employee is truly a match made in heaven. So that's an awesome story. And Jack, like I think everybody who nominated, sort of expressed uh, disappointment that she couldn't nominate everybody in her yeah. team. And it's amazing how often these people who are being nominated come uh, are, are thriving, you know, alongside an amazing team of people who are truly dedicated. So um, congratulations, Catherine. Next up, and this one I'm worried about, um, I'm going to show my ignorance here, but the, the winner is Tia Bahadur Tapa from the Tasmanian Migrant Resource Centre. I hope I got your name right, Tia. I hope I am now. Um, but congratulations. Um, Tia is a support worker at the centre and um, Laura nominated Tia for his calm and positive approach to his work and the way he lives the values of the centre. Um, clearly this is a, a, a critical role and she said that like many of their workers, Tia enjoys helping refugees and humanitarian entrants settle into Tasmania, even under the stress of many new arrivals at once or when having difficult discussions with clients, Tia remains calm and projects gratitude for his work, his life and the community around him. I cannot wait to tell this story. It's amazing and congratulations guys. Our fourth winner is Matthew Knutson of Pure Water Systems. Jill has nominated Matthew, customer service specialist, for his outstanding contributions to the organisation since he started just at just 18 years old. 19. 19, 19 sorry. Years old. It says 19. It's no difference there too. when you're 40. It's because I'm not yeah. wearing my glasses. Yeah, yeah, fair I didn't want to wear my glasses on. Yeah. 19. Anyway, moving on. 19 years old. Last year, Matt was awarded Pure Water Systems Team Member of the Year for always going above and beyond. Jill said that over the years, Matt matured and found his strengths recognizing that his personal mojo is all about helping others. He's all about helping his team to help our customers and maintains professionalism with his own individual style whilst being genuinely humble. He's literally grown up with the pure water systems. So it's really interesting to get to know Matt's stories and his connections to the organisation. Yeah, I wonder how old he is one. now, if he's been there um, since he was 19. Yeah, it doesn't say in here, mm, we look forward to finding sounds out. Sounds like he's but, been um, there for a really um, yeah. long committed employee. And I like how, um, this isn't scripted by the way, this is us yeah, being we're, natural. We're we read this it. off the thing, but then we're natural <laughs> in between. Um, I, what, I, what I loved in all the stories we saw, of whether it was someone who'd been there five minutes or someone who'd been there 10 years, mm. um, just an immense connection with what they do. You know, we, we talk about this all the time, but we believe that when someone is really dedicated and really gets the mission, the purpose of the organization, and they know how they can contribute, there's no better feeling, and that, that drives performance, frankly. So, so congratulations, Matthew, that's amazing news. Um, next up, congratulations to Alexander Jackson of the University of Queensland. I'm really happy about this one. This is someone who's in uh, the HR and uh, recruitment team, I believe, um, so it's always good to see. Um, thank you to Nathan Anderson for nominating Alex. Uh, Alex, if you're sitting next to uh, Nathan now, get him a beer. Um, we love hearing stories about positive people who walk the walk, and Alex is clearly an awesome example. So, so Nathan said, Alex works incredibly hard and is an inspiration to his team. He's worked at UQ for eight years and is one of the most respected members of the HR team you will meet. I thought he was HR. Um, when walking out and, about the uh, out and about in the grounds, he is always saying hello and acknowledging others. His energy and enthusiasm is second to none and takes this ethos to everything he does. Um, he is an integral part of the team and lives and breathes UQ in everything he does. Um, I, I, I actually have met Alex and I agree with this. You buy into him straight away. And, and, and again, when somebody like that represents your organisation, it's, it's mm. already an amazing start in what you're trying to deliver for your customers and your stakeholders. Very yeah, cool. you're right. It's definitely, um, and you feed off the energy when you're around somebody else who's really positive and really driven, definitely. and that sort of really helps boost the team morale, which is really lovely. Very cool. Mm. So, we're halfway through. Yes. Five, five down, five to go. Has everyone gone home, or are you still here? Still with us? Good. Good. Excellent. Okay, our next amazing winner is Carlos Escobar of Campos Coffee. Very cool. Uh, Melissa has nominated Carlos, who says she has gone from strength to strength, having been promoted from business development manager to field sales manager. Last night, Carlos was named the 2018 Campos Values Ambassador. 
He was nominated by his peers for his immense efforts in building and redefining his leadership skills with the intent to take on more responsibility and provide more support to the business development managerial team. He has already received some great feedbacks on the initiatives he has been developing already over the last two weeks. What a worthy winner and a fantastic story of leadership developments with Carlos at Campos. Congratulations. Now, I had a little sneak peek at Carlos' Instagram feed. Oh, now, I'm not just? big on Instagram, as some of you may know, but yeah. um, just the images that I, I saw when I popped up. Here's a guy who lives and breathes the Campos brand and the yeah. values. And, you know, it's just amazing when you see a brand like that connected with someone like Carlos. So congratulations, Carlos. Uh, number seven, well done to Amanda Panisi, shelter supervisor at the RSPCA uh, based in Queensland. Josie Leo nominated you and you are clearly a very worthy winner. I'm going to read you some of what um, Josie said. Amanda began her RSPCA journey as a volunteer, excuse me, before getting a job as an administration assistant slash animal attendant in 2016. Due to her outstanding performance, she was promoted to team supervisor at the end of 2017. In her time at RSPCA, Amanda has been recognised for her eagerness to learn and develop herself and her dedication to RSPCA. She has a tremendous drive, determination and enthusiasm to complete tasks. She's a role model to other staff and volunteers and positively influences the team. Amanda, I love this, Amanda regularly takes home animals that are unable to be collected oh, by the animal ambulance during business hours, waiting with them at her home until they can be collected. Now, I've um, been sort of indirectly involved with um, stuff like this in the past and it sounds great and everyone thinks yeah I would do that as well doing it day in day out week in week out every time it becomes a hassle and it's difficult and it interrupts your life it would be like so. having a newborn all the time exactly but Amanda <laughs> like so many of her team and so many of the people around her just is amazing so obviously Amanda I can't wait to uh, to interview you and bring that story to life right? if you can fit me in amongst the cats and dogs yeah and everything else. well you might can be we? amongst them yeah they go, I tend to get on better with animals than people, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that will work. Not so much cats, they're a little bit. Yeah. Well, we each to their own. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We once had a psycho cat, do you want to know about that? No, no I don't no. think we do, do we? No. no, no we don't. All cats are good, really. Yes. Okay, next up is a superb winner. It's Georgine Rudenrice, who's the Executive Director from Climate Tra Change sorry, at the Department of Environment and Science. Thank you to Karen for nominating her. She said, we're very pleased she has chosen us. Georgine's passion and values align with those of the department and we learn from her drive and passion and her vast technical expertise in energy and climate change policy. Georgine's leadership style and expertise showcase best practice and set the bar for her teams and her peers. She walks the talk and her contribution to the team and the, de and the department is immense. Georgine is not just nailing it for the department, her leadership on policy that matters to people in, in Queensland means she is probably nailing it for everyone. And we are enormously proud and grateful that is she, that is she, this bubbles is getting yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> I I proud and I grateful. I know, right. You what just what ruined are you this. thinking? Sorry, Georgie. And then you gave me sorry. bubbles. I'm it's sorry. I ruined well. that moment for you. We shouldn't be you. drinking with okay, government. Okay, all right. Put it away. But just make it in that arm's Before. reach still. Okay. Yeah. Proud and grateful that she is doing so from our department. Okay, two things I love about yes. that. One is it's um, government and a department and so often, you know, there's that stereotype and, and, and sometimes there are people obviously, you know, mm. who still live up to that. But to, to hear not just Georgine's story, but that people are nominating her and wanting to put her forward is amazing. The other thing I love is that this is a senior leader and personally as someone who lives in Queensland, I want people like this in charge of um, what's happening uh, in the world around me. So congratulations Georgine, I'm really, really pleased for you. I'll be in touch. Uh, number nine, penultimate. Um, we are thrilled to announce our ninth winner, winner as Julia Dyer of Zero. So James O'Reilly nominated this Melbourne-based sales coordinator um, and said some awesome stuff. Uh, we love the story when we read this of someone who's busting a gut behind the scenes to have such an impact on a company, in this case Zero, and its customers. James said, Julia does a mountain of work to support our partner team who in turn support our accounting and bookkeeping partners to get the most out of Zero. Julia has changed the landscape on how we communicate with our Zero accountants and bookkeepers. In less than a year, she's set up over 100 partner refresh events all around the country. Julia focuses on the one percenters. She has a genuine love and care for her team and is a joy to work with. Julia, congratulations, I'm really pleased for you. Okay, finally, I think we need a drum roll, don't we? Of the 10? Yeah, well, yes. 
come on, Mark. Up the others didn't get a drum roll. We can't otherwise. I, well, I know. Okay. All right. Well, this is the last one. I'm excited. It's not okay. Yeah. Okay. We can have it back. Okay, finally, we would like to congratulate Eron Castro from Affix. I reckon it's Aaron. Oh, sorry, Aaron. Let's go, Aaron. Jury's I'll out. I'll take it. Aaron, I'm Aaron, going for Aaron. Okay, sorry. All right. We were really touched by um, Simon Harris's description of Aaron, consultant at Affix. Is it Affix? I or think it's Affix. Affix. Well, I'm so sorry. We should have found this out. <laughs> when we've got a bigger team, We'll sort all this stuff out. It'll be so smooth. You clearly won't be, be leaving so it up to me. But we'll be in tuxedos. We'll yeah, be, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay, it's a my fault. That counts. Mm. Who has worked with Simon for over four years? Simon explained that Eron, Erin, goes above and beyond. He said, "Can't get good help these days, can you?" He said that not only is she amazing at her job as a recruitment consultant, but she's a mother and a huge advocate for working mothers. Go Erin. Yes. In fact, Erin has started a blog series empowering working with mothers in the digital space called the Super Women Collective. Love it. Go, Go and, and check that, it out. People. Super Women Collective. Check it out. Simon and Erin light up. Simon said. <laughs> Jesus. Simon said. <laughs> Simon said, Simon <laughs> said, Erin lights up the lives of everyone she meets and she deserves to be celebrated. And celebrate her, we will. We can't mm -hmm. wait to talk to you and learn more about what you're doing in this space. Classic example here, usually successful people who are thriving, who are happy, also have other stuff going on and they're nailing it there as well. Yeah. So I'm um, really, really excited to, to uh, well meet done. you and find out your story. So that's our 10. Don't go anywhere though. Um, we want to thank you so much for entering um, and for everybody else who entered um, as well, we, we, we're really, really grateful to you. We want to also tell you about six more um, nominations that we accepted and that we've, we've awarded um, a place to from our own client base. And I, again, I want to say once more, thank you so much for choosing us. Um, we are in our first year. I can't believe it's only been a year. It feels like a lot longer. Um, so your support means so much to us, so thank you. Uh, I want to be clear, these are not sponsors, uh, they're just clients and employers that we know really well, and so when we saw stories from them, we really wanted mm -hmm. to give them their own place. So the first one, I actually can't name the person um, because the, the employer wants to surprise that person later, but it's, it's Port of Brisbane, PTY Limited. Port of Brisbane are actually our first full-on employer branding client, and I still remember Louise Lambert, um, thank you so much for connecting with us and choosing us and we're so proud of what we've done together But there is an incredible story that again is in front of me, but I can't say it um, So watch out for that one. Okay. Next up Jane Midler who's the local area coordination trainer at Ferros Care another of our fantastic clients Congratulations, Jane. Jane has had an amazing journey with Ferros. So told us Andrea uh, Yanis who, in, who um, nominated her she's developed her skills and moved across various divisions and actually had quite a journey from where she started to where she where she is today and as a trainer trainer Andrea tells us hundreds of staff have been trained and oriented by her so can't wait to see that story um, congratulations to Mel Kramer at Vocus Group Mel is superb I know her personally coincidentally uh, I should say personally throughout through through our work and uh, she is smashing it up and doing brilliantly at Focus Group. She's wholesale state sales manager there for New South Wales and Queensland. And she truly embodies what Focus is all about. She has an amazing story to tell and will tell you passionately and with immense authenticity. So I can't wait to, uh, to share that with you. Do you want to do one? Sure. Work 180 are one of our favorite clients and partners. So we're thrilled to be able to celebrate one of their newer employees, Julia Bickwell, Bickley. Sorry. Congratulations, Julia. Very happy for you. She's had an incredible impact already on Work 180 and their clients while working flexibly to help her balance life as a parent and superb professional. How great is it too? Like, yeah, yeah, getting so back into the workforce as a parent, it's a massive juggling act. Yeah. And to see that, um, you know, that's the second one that has already been highlighted there. The thing I love about that, as well as I, I've um, experienced Julia's work and she's superb and she's gonna do huge things there. But I think Work 180 is such an important organization. If you do nothing else after this, other than liking all of our social channels and supporting <laughs> us, go and find out about Work 180. They do a huge amount of work on all diversity and, and, and a lot of work on gender diversity. Um, and what I love the most about them is they absolutely walk the talk. Mm. Um, most of their employees um, have families, have commitments and so on, and work flexibly and remotely, and, and it's just brilliant to see. I personally love, love, love working with them. 
Um, number five, another one I love, really pleased to be telling the story of Ferrari technician Dion Kotze, I hope I, spelled, I said that right, at Frizzell Sunshine Automotive on the Gold Coast. Um, we work with um, FSA on some strategy around employer branding and I've just loved watching what they do and how they've brought their uh, people's stories to life. Um, but more about Dion, Dion has worked his way through almost every service role at FSA and he's been promoted each time. Great story if somebody's mm -hmm. come in and just nailed it. Um, his loyalty and passion are truly imperative and, and, and thank you for ta to Taylor for, for nominating um, Dion. And I should have said thank you to um, Joanna for nominating uh, Mel and thank you to Valeria Ignatieva for nominating uh, Julia. Um, finally then, one final winner um, is Cheryl Edwards. Cheryl, I hope you're watching this. We hope we, we tried to set it up so you could. Cheryl is uh, in charge of house care, uh, housekeeping uh, and the housekeeping assistant team at Swan Care in Perth. Um, anyone who knows me and us knows that we love Swan Care. They're an amazing client, amazing organisation. And Cheryl is a true classic example of what their people are about. Um, she's been there for 16 years. She is brilliant. She's a true unsung hero who really does improve lives every day. So congratulations, Cheryl. I will be in touch to tell your story. And then one, the wonderful Alex will be taking a photo of you, hopefully next week when we see you. And uh, we'll be bringing your story to life. So thank you very much to everybody. So we've announced our 10. And then we've also done highlighted those six. What happens now, Mark? I take a big deep breath <laughs> because we've got to do 16 stories. Um, this is not going to all happen immediately. We want to drip feed these stories out to Australia and beyond. Um, so we'll be in touch with all 16 organisations uh, next week to the people who nominated them. And we'd like to arrange with you when suits you and when we can actually set this up. Um, we'll do an interview with the person. Um, we'll be writing up that story. Alex, at the next available opportunity, will be coming to take photos of that person, hopefully with team members as well, potentially with some animals. That would be quite cool. Mm. And, Not um, cats. No. Well, cats. We could Are do you cats. allergic? As long, no, it's just that if they're not... I have one that wasn't great, okay. but it was just my experience. It okay. probably yeah. had a tricky start, I don't know. Um, but we're going to do that, and then we're going to um, put those out across our channels. We're going to share them with the employer. Obviously, you get to sign them off. And then um, we might even do something a bit special at the end of next year, but I'll tell you all about that as and when that happens. Um, we are so grateful to everybody who entered. We're so grateful that some of you dialed in to watch us drink um, Prosecco. Um, next year it'll be champagne. Mm -hmm. um, we hope you'll stay in touch with us. Thank you ever so much for everything. Cheers, happy birthday us. Cheers. You can press stop now. <laughs> <laughs>